March by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. I've watched old March for many a year, with all her ways so dark and drear, and know full well her wild barrage of bluster is all camouflage. She blows her blasts and ramps along, and sings a mighty warlike song. But underneath her flaunting wing, she hides away the joys of spring. And all her temper melts away into the smiles of April's day, as on her wayward course she goes to flowers fresher for the snows. March 1st In the poem, this recording is in the public domain. Defiance by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Christopher Wessel. Defiance, you need not think, black-visaged woe, that you can take my soul and twist it to your whim. It may be you can force on me the brew of bitter trial with your frowning grim, but never, while my heart holds true to cheer, can all your venturings and deadly care, or your emprises in the realm of fear, within that smiling soul enthrone despair. March 2nd. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Dwelling Place by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. The dwelling place of light is not in yonder sun, nor in the stars of night when the day at last is done but in the human soul it flames forever free and cheers the road of dole with love and sympathy march third end of poem this recording is in the public domain mine enemy by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. The only enemy I know, my one and only fearsome foe, I do conceive to be that curious old creature who ne'er leaves my side, whate'er I do, and all men know as me, and him I fight both day and night with all my strength and weight and do my best in every test to keep the fellow straight march fourth end of poem this recording is in the public domain partners by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by Bruce Kachuk. In all the rush and all the roar, and all the turmoil and the war of daily life, though tis not clear for what and why and how we're here, tis good to be a part of it, to strive with brawn and brain and wit, and with our powers overcome the hazards hard and burdensome, since all these burdens that we bear in things of trial and of care must be for some objective high that we shall share in by and by march fifth end of poem this recording is in the public domain weedless by john kendrick bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. If it be true all flesh is grass, as we have oft been told, And that all withers and must pass before the winter's cold, While I've my share, I'm going to see to all my grassy needs, And hold it freshly green and free from all destructive weeds. March 6th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In Proportion by John Kendrick Bangs. 
Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. I know I'm not a statesman of the type of Washington. I know I cannot do the things that Edison has done. I know I cannot pen such lines as Billy Shakespeare writ. And when compared to old Mark Twain, God knows I'm not a wit. But with the tools that I have got, they're mighty small and few. I go about my daily stint, and all I can, I do. And while I'm not renowned as those who wear the diadem, I'm just as great for little me as they are great for them. March 7th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Cheerful Institution by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk If I had old Croesus wealth, I'd found a university Where souls could go to study health and scientific amity. I'd have a chair on handling care, a dozen teachers of goodwill, A two-year course upon the force of laughter, as a cure for ill lectures on love and sympathy and how to grin when days are drear and give a graduate degree of bachelor of cheer march eighth end of poem this recording is in the public domain a long quest by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. I'm daily looking for a man as on my way I go. His features and his general plan I greatly wish to know. He's never very far away, and yet we've never met. He's been my comrade every day since first my course was set. He is that man inside of me that holds the most of good that i myself some day might be if i but understood march ninth end of poem this recording is in the public domain a march day by john kendrick bangs read for librivox org by bruce kachuk the day was dark and tearful but i i made it cheerful by thinking of some other days all full of fair and golden ways whose memory had made my path immune to things of woe and wrath and turned the desolated scene into a picture fresh and green as any soft and springy time praised by the poet in his rhyme March 10th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. My Face by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. If so, you do not like my face. To me, it matters not. Perhaps it lacks all lines of grace, but it's the best I've got. And if I keep it lit with cheer, and always smiling-eyed, and unafraid confronting fear, why, I am satisfied. March 11th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Modeling by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. When woe comes stalking near, imperiling my cheer, I bear it as I must, and view its painful thrust as might a marble block that bears the hammer shock of him who fashions there a bit of sculpture rare and patient wait to see 
what's to be made of me and what life's modeling out of my soul will bring march twelfth end of poem this recording is in the public domain a good investment by john kendrick bangs read for LibriVox.org by bruce Kachuk. invest yourself in smiling cheer and you will gain rich dividends paid every day throughout the year in kindly welcome from your friends man's capital is but himself and its return is joy or stress so why not choose the sweeter pelf that one derives from friendliness march thirteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain profit by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by bruce Kachuk when with the set of sun i find my duty done then can i rest in peace and find in dreams increase the hours of night all gain unvexed by care and pain and greet the new-born day that follows on their way refreshed and smiling view the things that i must do march fourteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain unreal troubles by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by bruce Kachuk if i must have an ill may it be real that i may meet it eye to eye and fight and wheresoever it may strength reveal get after it with all my main and might the woe that but impends and wears the mind with worry deep and most vexatious care is harder fighting than the realer kind for when you come to strike it isn't there march fifteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain fillet by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by bruce Kachuk sing a little laugh a little your fill heart with cheer drop your worries and your troubles drop your jibe and sneer joy in all the sunny hours in the morning light and the starry wonders of the sparkling skies at night look for good in all about you you will find it there god has lavished gifts of wondrous beauty everywhere love and life and merry laughter all of these are here ready for the taking if you'll fill your heart with cheer march sixteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain flowers by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by bruce Kachuk. if flowers have no soul as some do say deep in mine own i'll hide them safe away and let them share what beauty there shall be just as their loveliness they've shared with me their lack i shall supply and when at last on through the gates of mystery i've passed i think i'll find my paradise more fair because i've ta'en my floral comrades there 
March 17th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Contented by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Wish you were a bird, do you? Well, I don't, and that's a fact. Soaring through the heavens blue, doubtless, is a thrilling act. But when I sit down to eat, bread and butter suits my whim. Bread and butter, pie and meat, not the worm that does for him. Flying, that would please my taste, swooping through the upper air. But a bed of straw and waste in a swaying tree somewhere, that is not at all the kind that would suit the bones of me sport of every passing wind flirting with that chilly tree be a bird if so you will everybody to his choice soar aloft and sing and trill with your piping birdie voice i'll remain contented here all according to the plan that has placed me on this sphere just a common garden man march eighteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain redemption by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by larry wilson tis sadly true that what is writ is writ nor can you change a single line of it indelible it stands your record there for good or evil be it dark or fair but true as that may be tis also true a clear to-morrow lies ahead of you and if the die for evil has been cast it holds the story only of the past the future yet remains and if you will its pages all unsullied you may fill with deeds of honor high to blot away the record of that evil yesterday march nineteenth end of poem this recording is in the public domain comfort by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by kirk kendrick on may twentieth two thousand eighteen grief is a woeful measure hard to bear and some there will be who yield up to despair yet looking back through the remembered years with all their portions full of scalding tears i have known no grief that did not ope to me well springs of friendliness and sympathy nor fail to find in depths neath sorrow's frown the loving hand of fellowship stretched down march twentieth end of poem this recording is in the public domain Mellowing by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Kirk Hendrick on May 20th, 2018. Accumulating years to some spell age. To me each one is but a fresher page that opens up new prospects to the sight and shows life's loveliness in fuller light. And tis my prayer that as the years pass by I'll not seem older to the friendly eye but riper grown and ever mellowing like the rich fruits that from young blossoms spring march twenty first end of poem this recording is in the public domain no tribute by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by kirk kendrick on may twentieth two thousand eighteen i shall not spoil a morning fair with any groans of mine nor dim with shadows of despair the glad sun's golden shine i shall not add a note of woe to any stormy day but rather seek with laughter's glow to drive the storm away so whatsoe'er the weather be clear days or dark with rain old master care will ask of me a tribute all in vain march twenty second end of poem this recording is in the public domain
All in One by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Kirk Hendrick on May 20th, 2018. Eternity, don't bother me, the very littlest bit. I feel somehow this minute, now, is all there is to it. For time is but an endless strut of minutes such as this, which understood and used for good will fructify in bliss. March 23rd. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Concealed Treasure by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Why brood on others' manners bad? Perhaps they were the best they had, and possibly they never yet have even heard of etiquette. Just take them as they come, and find relief by bearing well in mind that roughest ledges sometimes hold deep veins within of purest gold march twenty fourth end of poem this recording is in the public domain a call by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by tavarish twenty four hours are mine today for work and rest and thought and play and in each one of them I see a gift of opportunity to carry on, if I've the bent, God's work of earthly betterment. The time is full, the way is clear, the tools to do the work are here, and few of us have need to ask the why or wherefore of the task. Such are the needs that round us lurk. So, brother, rise, and get to work march twenty fifth end of poem this recording is in the public domain safety by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by tavarish an atom in the universe that's all i am i know and yet for better or for worse I'm rather glad it's so. For malice seeks the shining mark, And envy shoots above, But in the light or in the dark There's naught too small for love. March 26th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evidences by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox .org by Tavarish. A small bird flying north today told me that spring was on the way, and paused upon my window sill a little snatch of song to trill, which made me think of April showers and sunny gardens full of flowers, and blossoms white upon the trees, and lyric whispers of the breeze of May and June. And then I knew the secret that he told was true. March 27th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Wise Fool by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish It may be I'm the fool of hope but when in mazes dark I grope, And there's no light to show the way Into a brighter, clearer day, Hope in the stricken heart of me Serves to assuage perplexity, And fool or not, I forward fare, Eased of a portion of my care. March 28th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Values by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. I little care how tall you are, nor if you're small, how small you are. The thing that matters most to me is not how big your body be, nor how much cash you've stored away. 
nor on the scales how much you weigh, but how much soul you've set apart, and what's the measure of your heart, and in your share of stocks preferred, what is the value of your word. If this be always kept at par, it matters not how small you are, nor on what lowly planes you press. You've won success. March 29th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Two Rails by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish A rail was lying in the sun Beside a highway dusty, And, resting idle, all at one Was but a coating rusty. Another, bearing every day The burden of stern duty, Took on a gleam of silver gay That shimmered in its beauty. March 30th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. This Sequence by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish Exit winter, cheerless, cold, With its blasts all blustering, With its ways so braggart bold, Enter now the smiling spring. Out of all the dark and drear Of the frowning winter hours Come the loveliness and cheer Of the laughing skies and flowers. Thus oft times on woe and pain, On the trail of things of fear, Follows all the joyous gain Of a newborn day of cheer. March 31st End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of The Cheery Way A Bit of Verse for Every Day March by John Kendrick Bangs